Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to implement Ajax jQuery live search. And after I reload the browser, let's enter the employee name G. So notice here we got the Gita and Govind. If I enter C, H A R A N Charan. If I enter J, is a Jack. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am creating a new MVC application for this video tutorial. Go to File, New, Project. I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1 and the application name is MVC Live Search. Is the project name click OK and from the templates I'm selecting MVC4 click OK and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding a new data entity model right click the project name add new item I'm selecting data from the Visual C Sharp and I'm choosing adword.net entity data model. The entity data model name is EMP model. Click add. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option EF designer from database. Click next. Creating a new database connection. The server name is After adding a SQL server name, now I am selecting the database name. The database name is a sample DB. Test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And here we got the connection string. The connection string name is a sample DB entities. And I am saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next. And from the database objects, I'm expanding the tables folder as well as DBO. The table name is EMP table. Click finish. And here the EMP table entity model is added to our project. Let's open Solution Explorer. I'm minimizing the references folder. Now I'm creating a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers folder, add controller. I'm selecting MVC5 controller empty. Click add. The controller name is EMP controller. Add. And here we got our controller. Now in this action result index. I'm adding my connection string name, which is a sample DB entities. As is the object new sample DB entities. After that, I'm creating a variable data is equals to as the dot emp tables dot tool list method. And now I'm adding view bag dot result is equals to data this variable name that's it we have finished the coding part in the controller now we require the index view page but before adding the index view page we must build the application first build build solution and here we got a message build succeeded in output message box let's close this window now it's time to create the index view page. Right click the index, add view. The view name is index only and the template empty without model. Add. And here we got our index view page also. Now let's delete this default index header. I'm adding center tag. Inside this center tag, I'm adding h1. How to implement 
Ajax jQuery live search functionality using jQuery horizontal line now after the horizontal line I am adding a simple text box control input type is equals to text and ID of the text is txt search let's close the text box control let's add the other property placeholder also enter employee name again I'm adding the horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding a table border is equals to 1 TR in this TR I'm adding the table headers the first one is the employee ID the second column name is the employee name the third column name is designation fourth one is a uh, department and the last one is a joining date after adding the headers in this table now I'm binding the data into this table for that I'm using for each loop at for each variable PMP item in I'm adding the view back dot result TR. inside this TR I'm adding the TD table data at EMP item dot the column names we must add the same column name only EMP ID EMP ID the second column name is the EMP name and is capital the third column name is designation the fourth one is a department and the last one is a joining date that's it we have binded the employee table details into this table using viewback dot result now before adding the ajax jquery live search functionality for this table let's check the output to run this application we must change our controller name in the route.config file app underscore start expand that one routeconfig.cs file open that one notice here the controller name is a home which is, which is a default one just delete that one our controller name is a emp just copy this part and add here and the action result which is an index view page this is the index view page so I'm not changing anything the action result index so let's check the output Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code notice the text box control with the placeholder enter employee name and below that there is a table is binary the employee details now my next target is when a user enter any employee name for example type C I want to display the uh, employee details which contains the C in the employee name for that I am using jQuery functionality when you are implementing jQuery functionality the first thing we require the latest jQuery CDN link so let's search for jQuery latest 
Bobo's studio. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first one, hosted libraries. In the Google hosted libraries, notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains jQuery. Select that one. Here you can find the different jQuery CDN versions. I'm selecting the version 3.3.1. Just copy the script CDN and add. Let's stop debugging. After the table, I'm adding the jQuery CDN line. After that, I'm adding another script tag inside the script. I'm adding the live search functionality. Dollar between double quotes, I'm adding the text box ID, which is a txt search. When we are adding IDs in the jQuery or JavaScript, we need to prefix with hash dot on function and in this on function uh, first I'm adding that event is key up event function now in this function I'm adding the variable text enter is equals to dollar this dot val method. This variable I'm using. What are the text we are entering in this text box control? The data I'm getting. Between double quotes, table tr dot each function results. Now here the condition, if the employee details found, I want to display those records from this table. Now in this each function I am adding if condition, if the results is not double equals to zero, which means if the records are found, variable id is equals to dollar this dot find method I am finding the column name the employee name is a second column the td colon nth hyphen chain second column dot text function here in the find method the nth child 2 is a second column which is the employee name if id dot index of now in this index of i am adding the the text box enter value is not equals to zero and i am also checking the case sensitive id dot two lower case a function dot dot index of text enter dot to lowercase function is less than zero. Let's close this if condition. If the records are not found, what are the values we have entered in the text box control? I want to hide that table. Dollar this dot hide method. Else in the else part, dollar this dot show. That's it, we have added the jQuery snippet, the live search functionality from this table.
let's check the results I'm reloading the browser link and after I reload the browser let's enter the employee name G so notice here we got the Gita and Govind if I enter C H A R A N C if I enter J is a Jack that's it we have implemented in MVC the Ajax jQuery live search functionality.